Meantime, down at the Indiana State House, lawmakers now are closer to passing a bill that would end the state of emergency here in Indiana. Today, a committee amended and voted in favor of this House bill, which is 1001. Tonight, 13 Investigates reporter Sierra Putman breaks down what's changed and how it could impact your work's COVID vaccine mandate. These changes expand exemptions. They also try to address a big business concern and they provide some more financial protections for Hoosiers. First, let's talk about the exemptions. Medical, religious and natural immunity exemptions are still in. Natural immunity now includes both workers who've had COVID in the last six months and those who can provide an antibody test showing they still have a certain level of protection. Next change is for employees who do not receive an exemption but still opt out of getting vaccinated. They will have a testing option. At first, the cost of testing fell on the employer, but the business community pushed back. Now lawmakers say businesses can apply for reimbursement at least until June 2023. Businesses say that reimbursement may not cover all the costs. Finally, some financial benefits. Another change would allow employees who lose their job because of a work vaccine mandate to apply for unemployment benefits. 